time on Virgin Islands Idol. You are the 13th finalist that made it to the 2014 Via Idol competition. How you feel about that? Me did broke like that, but them days they don't send them to the mark. 2014 pay vibe of Iguan. I want money if blow like stam. Why did she come out on stage in this quote unquote little piece of dress? I agree, but I don't think what I had on was skimpy. Yeah. I hate ants. I hate Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought about mosquitoes. We do got the ants. Go ahead. So we pull up at the mansion. I sit in on the side closest to the mansion. You don't know it's the first person out the safari bus on the opposite side, the side you ain't supposed to be getting out on. Just I had to come and look at uh, this massive place that might have we staying in, dude. Out of this world. I was impressed. I mean like the house was Amazing. Wow. This mansion is beautiful. Whoever this house for, do they need a step check? <laughs> Cause I was like, I need to live in this house. Just look at this, look at this, look at this. I know my, I know my squat is right. I am not leaving. This is really Yeah. Now check out the kitchen. Now for you ladies who love to cook, because I love to eat, this is it. So who's gonna be the first to turn the stove on? And as we went in, it just got even better and better. The kitchen was. Like ridiculously beautiful, or... and then look at this. All right, see so you coming up the driveway. That's how I ran outside. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, so you, you see us? Yeah, I saw y'all from the jump. That's hot. That's hot. I don't know. What do you want for breakfast? <laughs> oh, Chanel is cooking. <laughs> the only thing I forgot was to get you the cover up. No, no. He I just wants to be talk. served. I'm sorry. And then of course we have like the double oven here. Now this is always oh, no. the island woman's hey, dream, my baby. mama's dream. Look at that, that's proper treatment. <laughs> the living room and the movie room and everything. But when we pulled up, I just knew that stuff got real. My baby. <laughs> My baby. Her baby. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> this is like back in both. No, the time, no. Yeah, what a cup. Hey, oh, she's asking uh -huh. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, come in, come in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a pool table? Yeah, oh, I don't know who I'm going to run after the pool. I know. Who'll be watching? Who'll be watching? Who'll be watching? Dang, I need to start. I, I need to take a few pictures so my pops can see this. Like, this is crazy. I, I, I've never seen um, a house that designed before, like designed that well before. You know what I mean? Because that, that's just something that I do on the side. I do uh, architecture and drafting. So it's just very. It, I was very interested in it, the way he did it, like with the, the blue bit stones and everything. I made the walls and it's pretty interesting. Virgin Islands Idol will be right back after this break. VI Idol is back. Personally, it's not my style, um, but everybody likes, you know, different types of architecture. But the mansion was beautiful. <laughs> Let's see what you got.
So look at my dining area. Isn't it dope? Yeah, my centerpieces, everything. But I do have a special guest for you guys this evening. Yes. I mean, I think y'all probably tired of me by now. Aren't y'all? You know what? I'm going to put y'all all at my house. Just kidding. <laughs> but I have another guest who's actually going to take you guys out of my hands. Which I did have a pleasure with all of you. And um, now I got to hand it over. We were around the dining room table and Kamisha said she had another surprise for us. I was kind of like anxious. I was like, what is this other surprise? So then um, we're at the dining room table and then the shutters start to come up. Oh and it's Kivo. I mean like, for as long as I can remember, I could just remember just like hearing stories about Kibo and his son's Rock City and the big influence that he has made on the Virgin Islands community. And I'm so glad to be working with him in artist development. Well, let me introduce my name to being Kibo. He's been in the music industry for 28 plus years. And if you don't know this man, not only is he a motivational speaker to the youths here in the Virgin Islands, but he's also brought up in, in many artists from Nyora to Prussia, and of course, his very own sons, Rock City slash Planet V.I. Okay, okay. The fact that he's molded his sons to become, you know, stars, I have a lot of respect for that man. So I, I really appreciate all of you being here, but at the same time, you must understand the grueling pressure you're gonna be in. This is gonna be like the first time in the Virgin Islands you're gonna be really treated like our superstars be treated. The reason the Beyonce's and the Jay-Z's and the Jennifer Hudson's are where they are is because they had to go through stuff like this that you guys are gonna go through. So my main thing is there's 13 of, of you guys here, all of you, the only one gonna win. Yep. Kibo is a man with some wisdom. And anybody that comes across Kibo needs to just sit and listen to and absorb everything that he has to say. Just him being there, being his presence and being able to soak in the information that he has to say, I know that it's gonna further grow, you know, grow me as an individual and as an artist. I don't favor nothing, I favor work. So it's by your work is how I will, the results will come back for me to say, okay, I'm, you're the one, you're the one. I don't like, I don't like um, competition to the point that don't worry about the other person. Cause it's all about you. At the end of the day, it's about you. But you worry about the person next to you, if they're that good, should be a motivation to you. Because you're still trying to reach where they go in and they trying to go where you go in. So each one should teach one. At first, I felt like, what the is wrong with Kibo, man? Like, is he for real? Is this for real? And Kibo showed me that he is for real. This is what he's about, this is his life, this is what he do, this is what he get paid for. I don't sing, I don't write, I don't perform. This is what I do. And I'm good at what I do. You gotta prove to me when I put my work on you, you good at what you do. This is who's gonna be grooming us and preparing us for the third performance. You know what I mean? I was really excited because obviously if he groomed his sons to be great and all the other names, Pressure, Nayora, you know what I mean, Benny Demos, Culprit Darby next. You are the future of the Virgin Islands. I'm proud to be here with you. I'm just hoping we get to do good work together and we're gonna talk some more. You have a good rest, like I said, a good rest. Good. Not just rest, good rest, because we have a grueling, grueling time in the morning. Have a good night, me and Tamisha, we out. Bye. Hello. Bye. Well, 
I think we should go to see your frog, you know? Yeah, see your frog's definitely yeah. yeah. That's my spot. I am not 21. I do not need to go to every club. <laughs> Everybody's trying to win $5,000. I'm going into this with the mentality that I lost $5,000. I ain't got no time to go out and party. Virgin Islands Idol will be right back after this break. VI Idol is back. Even though Kibo told us to get some rest, I decided to go out. Um, I was asked to go out, you know, with some of the other contestants, and I felt that it would be a good opportunity to get to know them. And we got to have some fun, you know. You know, I don't really party or anything. We don't drink, don't smoke, none of those things. But just, you know, being with the group, I hate. <laughs> uh, the whole bar thing, though, it's not unusual for me to be in those settings because I see myself as, uh, let me put it like this, we, we start speaking about Jesus as Christian, and I'm Christian, and, you know, everyone, everybody loves us, but when we start living like him, when we start hanging around the people he hanged around and be the place that he was, then, you know, everybody starts getting a little itchy. So I, I kind of see myself trying to be more like Jesus in the sense of being around people that actually need me to be around them and be a part of them, help to them instead of the other way around. I went out too because we made it. We were the 13th finalists. It was just a like great feeling. We have to celebrate and do something. We just didn't want to go stay in the house and watch movies. At the party, I would say you were really seeing the spirit. Anybody knows me. I love to party. I love to dance. Don't really need too much alcohol because I'm just already out there to show art. I'm very happy. I'm always happy in a good mood. If I'm not in a good mood, that means you made me upset. Uh, when we went out at the club, I was basically having fun with everybody. It had certain things that I didn't like, but I put them aside and say, you know what, this is my night. I'm going to celebrate because I'm one of the 13 families. So I ain't going to do nothing about it. Again, so I just had a great time. Money for turning up. Jomani's dancing at the club was very funny. He has this dance where he goes like this. <laughs> I would have loved to see that because I can't see Jamani getting turned up at all, but at least not to the extent they man were taking it. She can't take a shot. <laughs> she need to fall back on that one, I'll tell you that. She can't keep up with the big boys. Island's Idol will be right back after this break. VI Idol is back. Like when we got back from the house, like we was chilling outside for like a while. <laughs> like, I don't know how, but I woke up around the pool. I didn't even get a chance to make it up to my bed because everybody was talking outside. 
And once I drop asleep, that's it. I'm like so cool out. to get some water because I felt like I was about to hurl from all of that tequila and all those shots that night. Then I hear the doorbell. Honest with you, I thought it was a box just for me to just say, get the hell out of the house. I was scared for a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Wake up, wake up, wake up, come on. Yeah, so then I tried to wake everybody up and get them ready um, for this video they're about to watch. And nobody was waking up for the longest time, so I was like, I didn't feel so bad. Because I, I thought it was just me drinking hard, but the thing is, I didn't remember anything that night. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Let's do this. I got something for y'all. When Jacka came out and said that he got a message saying, play me, I was like, what? You got girls to own it? to go home, have some rest, because we got a lot of work to do today. And because you really didn't listen to me, all for going to rest, it's all about conceiving and controlling your body so we could create that endurance that you're going to deal with to make this thing happen. No, for some reason, you guys just mean you just have to stay young and go out there and do your thing. Someone is here to work with you. And you can't have me going back and forth because, to be honest, I'm kind of mad. But I ain't all that mad because I got something in store for you. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. We go in today at Vesa Beach. The safari will be outside for you guys. And all that endurance stuff I'm telling you, you got to prove it to me since you like to party. Did he just say book He sure did. Yeah. Yeah. We're ready for yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. Then he goes and tells us that we're gonna go and run. When Kibo said boot camp, I was like, oh my god. Boot camp? Like really? Me? In the hot sun? I go dead? I gonna be at emergency. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna drop down. <laughs> well I expected some kind of exercise or stuff because I follow Jacool, I follow Wale, and I follow all the artists I had in life. And I know those guys and I'm going a lot of work to get to where they at and we can't expect better results without hard work. So I was prepared for Kibo's challenge, you know? Um, I didn't know what to expect. I just know I had to prepare myself mentally and just have an open mind. Mind you, I, I'm like on times 20 hangover. Next time on VII. <laughs> oh 
Benny D is world renowned and just to be able to be in the room with him was it was amazing. I think Benny's a very attractive man. He's nice, a nice shade of chocolate. He's great and when giving him a plus is that purple mohawk he had on his head. So y'all looking like real superstars already. Congratulations to everybody making it to where you are right now.